Oh yeah. Yeah, you see it. You see that console right there? That console right there will forever be a legend. This console will forever be a classic. Oh yeah. Forever be a legend. Yeah, you see I got my little Turtle Beach uh, sticker on the side of that bad baby. Yeah. I had so much fun on this con on this on this console right here. On this very con on this very console, I've met some great people and had very 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 great experiences, especially online being able to play with with uh with guys that kept me laughing. You know, it was a lot of fun and excitement, you know, playing great games. And I still have it. And that's right, it is the Xbox 360. I'm not getting rid of it. It's going to stay, stay with me until whenever. It's going to be with me to the end. Because I am not letting go of this great, great console. This console... This gaming system is a legend. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, you see it. That's right, folks. The Xbox 360. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, you see it. Xbox 360 Slim, to be exact. And it's not going... What's going on, people? This is your boy, Andrew Tucker. And uh, I just want to say for all the gamers and all the people that's part of our gaming community, I just want to say that, listen, if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro, and you just a big fan of Sony or you just a big fan of the PlayStation then get the PlayStation 4 Pro I mean if you're a fanboy then you're a fanboy the same for the same as for the people who who's are, who who love Xbox I mean, if you want to get an Xbox One S, then get it, you know, get it. If you're a Microsoft fan, I am a Microsoft fan, and I also support Sony. Uh, I didn't really care for the PlayStation 3. I played a few games on there, but once my friends introduced me to the Xbox 360, I was hooked. I mean, it was like, I, I mean, I was like, I became, you know, an Xbox guy. You know, I became a Microsoft fan. Well, I always been a Microsoft fan, but as far as Xbox, I didn't have the OG Xbox. You know what I mean? I didn't have the OG Xbox. I had the Xbox 360, the original Xbox 360, and then I purchased the Xbox 360 Slim. You know, I purchased I purchased two of those, and I had a great experience on the original Xbox 360 and the Xbox and both of my Xbox 360 Slims. What I showed what I showed you in the beginning of the video was my Xbox 360, and I still have it, and I had it, and I had that thing since. 2008 to be exact I believe 2008 going on 2009 um but anyways like that was a great console and I know a lot of people had fun with it and I believe even I believe even the, even people that switched over to 
the PlayStation. I mean, and some people may have both consoles, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, or the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox 360, um, I'm, I'm sorry, the Xbox One Slim or the Xbox One. Some people may have, like I say, may have both. The Xbox, the, X, uh, the PlayStation 4 Pro and the uh, Xbox One S. I feel if you decide and if you choose to get both, then it's nothing wrong with that. You know, a game, a game system is a game system, and maybe you want it to play, to, to maybe you want it to play the exclusives on both of those consoles, or maybe you just enjoy enjoy you know playing you know the games on those consoles, or maybe you support both Microsoft and Sony, and you're not really a fanboy I mean you just you might have even have some people may even have every I mean all all consoles you know Nintendo uh, Xbox and PlayStation I mean some people just love to play games and some people have Nintendo they don't even care for the Xbox one s or the PlayStation 4 Pro they rather have a Nintendo you know, so I mean, it is what it is. Some people still, I know some people that's still playing um, PlayStation Two. They, they haven't really, you know, got, you know, went, you know, haven't really took a step into into the uh, the next gen, the next generation. You know, so they they still, you know, some people even still have a Super Nintendo. Or Nintendo 64, or a, uh, a Nintendo GameCube, Sega Dreamcast. You know, like <laughs> the, the 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 old school consoles. <laughs> Some people even still have a Atari, Odyssey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. It's whatever you prefer, whatever you prefer, whatever your preference is. I um, mean, whatever you have fun, whatever you have fun playing, or whatever console you enjoy. I mean, the console war is unnecessary. I mean, just being honest, the console war is very unnecessary. At the end of the day, you're gonna have good games on the PlayStation 4 Pro. You're gonna have good games on the play on the Xbox One S or the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 4 Slim so I don't understand why guys gotta argue over what game is better or what console is better or gotta get personal you know what I mean over video games you know get really I mean some of these guys are getting real personal and getting in they some of these guys are getting in their feelings uh, over YouTube is just crazy and uh, I don't understand why people is getting mad over a piece of plastic I know gaming is something serious nowadays um, people are actually getting paid to play games people actually getting paid to talk about games or talking about consoles or talk about what the developers are doing or what these corporations are doing on YouTube and I respect that but don't get personal and you know, and get, you know, try to make this thing, you know, it makes this thing, you know, to, to the point of like, okay, I gotta, it has to go, it has to go like beyond gaming. You know, it has to go to a point where it gets personal and you're trying to bring this person down or you're trying to destroy this person by exposing, exposing, exposing that person or just back and forth trying to expose each other or talking about each other I mean you got people out here lo losing their life every day like getting killed I mean it's just crazy you know some people don't some people don't even wake up to see the next day you know you got young young babies young teenagers young little girls young little boys dying of cancer um, Young, young little girls, young little boys, young teenagers getting murdered, mothers getting mur murdered, fathers getting murdered, mothers and their daughter, <clears throat> and their daughter getting murdered, or their mother and son, father and son 
I mean, it's just crazy. Elderly people getting murdered. People getting ran over by car by cars. Losing their lives, losing their life in a car accident. Losing lives in car accidents and stuff like that. So it's just crazy, man. It's in, it's the devil is busy. I mean, it's just so much. It's just so much evil and wickedness in the world today. To be arguing over video games and trying to want and wanting wanting to try to destroy a man or uh, you know break bring a man down or literally trying to make him look make him look bad or trying to expose him or whatever. I mean, it's like you may have disagreements. I understand that. And you may don't like what the person is doing or you feel that the person is fake, they're not legit or they're a fraud or, or what they're saying doesn't make any sense. I understand that. But at the same time, why get personal? You know, sometimes it's good to talk about things and come together, you know, especially as far as this gaming community. It's good to come together. There's nothing wrong with it. Drama going to be drama and I don't think it's going to ever come to an end until until it gets put to in by the higher source. Um, but anyways, it's just a lot of evil in the world right now. You know, it's a lot of evil in the world. And uh, people are, a lot of people are going through it. Like we all have to go through something. You know, the good thing, the good thing in life is that we do have a God that we can turn to. And uh, I'm not perfect, but I, want to make sure that, you know, I have a relationship with Jesus Christ before I leave this world. And I pray pray that for all uh, my brothers and sisters that's, that's out there in the world. Um, but um, I'm not trying to be religious. I'm not trying to hit you with religion. But all I'm saying is that the community can be better by coming together being understanding, compromising, things of that nature. But guys can't work together because they feel like they got to be better than the next person. They feel like the, the other guy is not on their level, that they're greater than he is. Self-righteousness only leads to destruction. Um, having hate, hatred leads to destruction. So if you dislike a person, you, you doesn't mean you have to hate that person. You can love that person from a distance. Or what's, what happened to respect? Or I understand you have to, to, to get respect, you have to respect, you know, that person to, for that person to respect you back. But all I'm saying is that, man, um, life is too short for the, for the dumb shit for the for the and for the foolishness that's going on that's taking place it's sad you know what i'm saying these do i mean you guys are going too far man you're getting your feelings involved you you be you're getting your emotions involved and i feel that it's just unnecessary i i feel that you know it shouldn't have to be that way i'm not saying uh come together hold hands and saying kumbaya but all i'm saying is that you guys can come together as a community and work with each other and come up with creative ideas as far as talking about games uh giving information making funny videos or whatever whatever you're good at doing on youtube or doing with on your channel on youtube but as a gaming whole, you guys really have to do better, man. It's sad that you guys go so far to try to hurt the next man uh, mentally. I'm not saying it's physically. Some of you guys probably even want to hurt want to hurt each other physically, but you're trying to hurt each other mentally. And with your words is uh, verbal abuse. So I guess bringing the, trying to bring that man down trying to destroy that man with your words or trying to expose him I mean it's not going it's not going to get nowhere sooner or later it's going to backfire on you you know 
But anyways, uh, I don't want to make this video too long. But all I'm just saying, uh, if you like PlayStation 4, 4 Pro, you can get the PlayStation 4 Pro. Have fun. Have fun. It's a it's it's there for entertainment. It's there to have fun. It's there to enjoy playing games with other with other people. You know, online or experiencing games. You know, and just enjoying and having fun. You know, gaming is a hobby, and most definitely, it's something to do. Have fun when when you have free time. You know, people may be, maybe gaming may be your life, but I understand that. But at the same time, don't let it convict you to the point that you, that it is your life. Some some of us have families and that is our first priority. I mean, that, that comes first, gaming lasts. Um, so... I'm just saying, man. Just, just stop with the bullshit. Stop just getting all, stop getting all personal. Stop trying to expose each other. Stop trying to talk down to one another and talk bad about one another. I mean, that shit gonna happen. Drama gonna be drama. People gonna have animosity towards each other. People gonna have hate towards each other. But at the end of the day, that shit is not gonna get nowhere. It's gonna only come back on you and make you make you be someone that you don't want to be we all have to change no one is perfect we all have to change and we should want to change for the better and not for the worse but anyways this is your boy andrew tucker and that's just what i a little something i had to get off my chest make sure you like comment and subscribe and you guys thumbs up thumbs down it really doesn't matter but make sure you comment, like, dislike, but just make sure you comment and subscribe. All right, I'm out. God bless.